everybody, my name is Benjamin Bloom. I have just witnessed Charlton Athletic 1, Leeds United 0. Not happening for Leeds today as they are knocked off the top of the division and the points are slowing down over the past few weeks. Is the curse back? There is no curse. Um, Charlton lining up here, sort of 4 4 2 diamond type um, system. Phillips in goal, Solly um, right back, Lockyer and Sarah, the centre half, Perrington left back, Prattley sits in front of the defence with Cullen one side of him, Gallagher the other side. Remember, these positions for this Charlton midfield are nominal because they are going to press the hell out of the Leeds fullbacks. Um, Williams is in the 10 position, uh, Bon is up front. Leko is with him, but Leko has an important defensive job to do. Um, seemingly keep swapping sides wherever the ball wasn't. So, out of possession, very much sort of 4-4-1-1 or 4-5-1. But the idea when they're attacking, to have that trio of Williams with Leko and Bon up front as a three to try and do some damage on the break with what possession Charlton did get. Leeds, we knew... No Pablo, no Pablo, no win. Is that a um, accurate correlation here? Um, so Costa comes in for him, but otherwise familiar looking lead team. Casilla, Dallas White, Cooper, Alioski is the back four. We've seen that before. Phillips sat in front. Um, Costa down the right with Shackleton and Klitsch in the middle. Down the left is Jack Harrison, and up top is Patrick. Bamford and Leeds right at it from the word go. Slid through to Bamford after 30 seconds. He's into the box on the left. Low cross by him. Star facing his own goal. Not the first time we see a large disc clearance go the right side of the post for Charlton. Today he helps it behind. The corner goes in from Phillips. It's touched goalwards by Ben White, I think. Um, and Dylan Phillips, this is in goal. Down well to his left. Um, makes the save there um, sort of fumbles that one around the post strong start by Leeds and we get the first Richard Keogh chant from the Leeds fans um, that grudge between Leeds and Derby isn't going anywhere and particularly um, the Leeds fans enjoying the uh, misfortunes of this week's events at Derby County um, seven Klitsch has made two early fouls here he gets a uh, very, very early last warning from the referee. It's getting a bit tighter now. Charlton have uh, kind of got a little bit of a foothold into the game. Um, Leeds try to play out through their fullbacks every time. Um, and you get particularly um, Cullen and Gallic are very, very active in the mould of their manager. Indeed, really shutting down early. Um, this, if it was a training session, would be one team practising possession and one team practising pressing. Um, 17, Costa's in off the right here, out to Harrison on the other side. He holds onto it in the box, slid back to Klitsch. He gets the shot off, deflects over. Watch the pattern of this. We're looking for Leeds to create a high percentage chance because they're not going to make many today despite all the ball that they have on 19. This is a chance though. Lovely ball drilled out to Harrison. Onto Alioski. Stands up the cross here. Bamford is on the back post. The cross is half volleyed in so it's a bit arcing. There's not a lot of pace on it but Bamford wins this one easily and it looks like he's focused too much on headering it down and he doesn't hit the target. A bit of a weak um, effort by Bamford. Needed to go across the keeper there. I understand not much pace on the cross but he didn't get much joy today and that was about the best of it for Pat Bamford. Um, around the 23rd minute, Leeds are really turning the screw now. They're really looking to get this opening goal here. Um, and they had the ball just seemingly for ages here. Um, Bamford spins his shots blocked. He took on Prattley really well there in that 10 position. Nice clip over the top by Klitsch. Dallas is in behind. Can he control the volley across? No, he can't. And then that one gets queered. The next phase out, Alioski's got it. This is going in, this shot. Um, diagonal one low. And what is Leko doing? I said he had a job coming back covering the other side. Leko back to block Alioski's shot there. Good play by um, Leko doing his defensive duties. Then from the corner, this one looked like White again. Even better save this time by Dylan Phillips. Leeds turning the screw. They're dominating this game. Not creating huge, obvious, clear-cut, must-score chances. But really the tide is all in Leeds' direction here, nice passing from Leeds on 26 here. Clitch is 25 yards out with a runner 
overlapping. Must have been Costa down that side. Um, goes for the shot. Wasted. 28. Costa gets a one-on-one -on -one now with Perrington. Um, Perrington kind of stands him up. Costa looked like he had the beating of him. Um, it's the only time, really, we see those two in a one-on-one. Half-hearted sort of penalty appeal. So, look. I've done the first half an hour of this game. Absolutely all leads um, dominating in possession, dominating in terms of chances. We're not really finding a big chance yet for Leeds. So, we all know what's coming now, don't we? 32nd minute, um, Charlton play the channel for uh, Bon in the right-hand side. He's all on his own. The best he can hope for is to win a corner, and that he does. Um, the corner is on the right-hand side for Charlton. Cullen is going to take it. All the big guys come up. Over comes the corner. Um, I think... Uh, it is initially Lockyer, I think, gets the contact on it. Um, Kassir is behind it. He fumbles it. It's poor goalkeeping. And the ball trickles over the line. And if you're a Leeds fan, you've seen this before. Dominate, dominate, dominate. Can see the set play. 1-0 to Charlton. I thought it was Lockyer. He ran away celebrating. And then a few minutes later, um, the guy in the stadium on the mic says it was Bon. I haven't watched the goal back. It doesn't matter because the narrative here is obvious. Um, Leeds have all of the ball, concede a set play and go behind. And we think possibly Bon with the goal. I'll check that back. Apologies if I'm not correct about that. I've seen this once in real time. How are Leeds going to react? Because we saw this in the run-in and Leeds fan Sam McCurse. I was there at Brentford when this happened. I was there at Birmingham when this happened in the run-in. And it's going to happen today again, sadly, for you Leeds fans. Um, Leeds have Charlton penned in now around the 40-minute mark here. Four phases of attack. Again, every time they get in good wide positions, Charlton do manage to filter back and get that low block in. Um, the last one of these is half volleyed over by Costa. And if this is the plan from Charlton, it's good stuff because... Um, it seems to be pass, pass, pass by Leeds. Then they're forced to put a cross in. There's Bamford and the um, the block is set well enough and they just header everything away. Leeds, um, Charlton, excuse me, quite happy for Leeds to cross the ball in today because they were very comfortable uh, defending those situations. Dallas out from right back here. High wide and handsome by him. Um, Leeds not creating good chances here. And the half summed up again right at the end here by some beautiful movement and passing down the left. But... Charlton um, filled back in. Prattley always there in front. Centre half's always in position. Fullbacks never caught out. Cross goes in, headed away. That summed up the first half. And I think this first half, this is the first time I've seen Charlton, by the way, this season. And I've looked at some of the stats in their games and thought, oh, um, you know, uh, are these wins going to gonna kind of run out? But this seems to exemplify the best of Charlton and the worst of Leeds this first half because Charlton defend well. They press well, particularly from midfield into the um, fullback areas to stop Leeds building attacks. And they take their chances. Charlton have been very good with their finishing and their chance um, completion this season. And that sums up the best of Charlton. And this is the, the worst of Leeds. They look beautiful in possession, um, fullbacks forward, uh, Phillips conducting. We know, we know, we know what's going to happen, but is that soft underbelly from the end of last season still there? And is the lack of clear, clear chances, is that a um, big problem going forward or is this no Pablo, no big chances? Is this what we're seeing? Are they once again reliant on him? And I think, is that fifth game now without Bamford scoring? Um, so, hey, um, I may be spoiling my ending here, but that's the worst of Leeds. Um, having all of the ball, conceding from a set play and going one down at half time. Um, Bielsa makes what looks to me like a pretty angry um, double substitution at half time. Out goes Alyovsky, the left fullback. Out goes Shackleton from central midfield. Um, in comes Enketia to play up front with Bamford. In comes Forshaw to join the midfield. And this system was uh, bold to say the least. I think Bielsa is kind of saying, well, Charlton not really having a lot of the ball, not having a lot of threat, certainly not not out wide. So he's going to go to a three at the back. And you've got um, Calvin Phillips is going to kind of come in and play the like Beckenbauer role with White one side of him, Cooper the other. Um, 
I promise it wasn't Dallas down the right. It was definitely Costa. And Costa's kind of trying to join to make a three up the front rather than playing an orthodox wing back. Harrison is playing down the left. Forshaw's going to sit with Dallas and Klitsch. Uh, Dallas just kind of tucked inside. And he's going to then help out Costa when Costa comes forward. So it flits between a 3-5-2 and a 3-4-3, what it does mean is that Leeds are basically leaving the bare minimum back and trying to get eight players pushing forward um, to attack when they do have the ball. So um, very aggressive stuff by Bielsa. Um, into the second half, Cullen, 30-yard free kick goes around the wall. Easy gather here for Casilla. Big scare here. Dallas slides Costa in behind, high up on the right wing. We saw this in the first half after 30 seconds. A low cross goes in. Um, it's Prattley this time sliding in, facing his own goal, and that flies just past the far post. They get in the last ditch defending right, though, Charlton here. Um, and Nike is going to come in for Williams. This is a three-game week. Johnny Williams has had much um, publicised problems with injury, so I assume Boya He's playing the whole week here, and he puts Anike in straight swap. Anike's in the 10 position. Look, he doesn't have the feet or technique of Williams, but um, I guess he's going to file in and try and counter-attack as and when he does get the ball. Um, Bielsa is starting to fry on the touchline here, not happy with a couple of decisions, not happy with the linesman, not happy with the fourth official, not happy with anything, frankly, Bielsa, in a very um, foul mood in the second half. Um, who can blame him, really? Uh, 50... Eight, Cooper steps out of defence now to join the Leeds attack. First phase um, comes to nothing. The second phase falls to Harrison. Edge of the box, curls one over. Again, I'm repeating myself. I'm a broken record today. It's low percentage chances every time by Leeds. Um, they're presented either with a tricky crossing position or a long-range shot, and nothing's happening with any of that. Um, no big chances here. Big mistake by Calvin Phillips, and they've left themselves short at the back in this system, haven't they? Three on three, Lecco overruns it. Could have been um, a really good moment there for Charlton. Um, quick free kick here. Klitsch smashes it over again from long range. Uh, Bamford getting frustrated here. Um, it's quite funny here because Charlton have given Leeds some treatment, certainly um, just the right side of the line um, with the pressing and with the tough tackling and Bamford gets frustrated and um, he didn't quite do it as well as a, as a Lee Bowyer player did here and he smashes into Gallagher um, takes a yellow card. Lockyer, silly though. He's trying to hype it all up. Big shove in the chest and he also gets a yellow card. Um, don't know if that annoyed Bielsa or he thought Bamford was a red card risk, but that's pretty much his last contribution. In comes Tyler Roberts. Now, he's just a very strange formation because you'd think uh, with Nketiah, Roberts and Costa on, you'd really want to try and get it to three up front. But Costa does keep filing out on the right to cover Purrington and Gallagher over on that side. So you do have basically a front two of Tyler Roberts and Eddie and Ketia. Um, lots of pace, a bit of technique, but not a lot of presence with those two up front, I would say. Um, Prattley goes through and Ketia, however. Another yellow card there and Ketia too quickly for um, wise old Prattley there, um, as you'd imagine. Uh, Leeds technical box now gets a telling off Bielsa. Is in a right grump down there. Um, corner half cleared for Leeds. Lovely sidestep by Klitsch. Again, though, it's a 20-yarder. Um, the block is working for Charlton very well. Leeds still not creating a high percentage chance here. Good wing play by Harrison on 74. Time is running out now. Drives the cross near post. Here is a decent-ish chance, though. And Ketia, um, it's a really hard swinging cross. All he needs to do is glance this one far post. He's beaten his man on the near post. I wouldn't say it was a big chance, but it was a good chance in the context of today for Leeds. And Ketia tries to over-engineer this. Uh, Bamford may have been um, better off on, on this one, but hey, he's not in the game anymore. And Ketia uh, gets the header all wrong and puts it well Wide, another corner for Leeds here. Second phase here, uh, stuck back in. White glances this one on the near post, tipped round the post by Dylan Phillips. You can see the pattern here. Leeds have the ball. Charlton happy to defend in this second half. They're not going to create any chances. They don't need to. They're 1-0 up, for goodness sake. Um, 82. Field comes in for Bon. Again, I don't know whether he's going to be credited with the goal. I need to 
<coughs> let's see that back and see what the um, official decision is. Sam Field is going to come in extra legs in midfield. He's got a bit more of a physical presence about him, Field. Another West Brom low knee. Um, what happens? Gallagher kind of goes into the 10 position now. He must be absolutely knackered, Gallagher, after the shift he's put in today. 84, here is your big chance. Here's your high percentage chance if you're a Leeds fan. They do make it in the end and they do not take it here. They get a good crowd scene and... This time they try and float the cross in and see what they can do with the seconds. Cooper is up. He's underneath it here. I think he's clipped in by Harrison. Half cleared. Here's Nketiah. He's very good at finding space. Um, it comes out to him. He's on the angle back of the six-yard box. It's not going to come down quickly. Snatches at it. Um, it's on the half volley and he skews it across the goal. That was the big chance. It fell to Nketiah, who I haven't seen play um, in much detail. I've been told he's a finisher. He's got to put that one away, hasn't he, there on 84. Maybe Charlton deserved to ride their luck. I don't know if it works like that, but that was the big chance. I haven't looked at the XG. We'll see what it says today. Um, Pierce comes in for Gallagher. Uh, Bowie is going to shore this up now. He's going to match up three at the back now. So uh, Pierce joins Lockyer and Saar. Perrington and Solly, well, they're normally wing backs, but they're going to sit pretty much as a five. Now Prattley can um, sit in front with Phil, fresh legs with Cullen. And on the break, Anike and Leko. You basically have eight behind the ball and two ready for the counter. But the first line of the press. 88, crowded box again. Slip to Harrison. What a waste here. Um, he needs to dink this one in again. Just stand it up because the centre-halves are now coming forward for Leeds. But he wants a shot at glory. Wastes the chance there. Five minutes. Stoppage time goes up. 92. Um, Harrison to Roberts. Low, long ranger here. Um, it hadn't worked for the other 90 minutes. I don't know why it was going to work. Now, 93. What a save by Dylan Phillips. This could well have been the equaliser. Corner from Phillips again. Cooper is underneath this one. Falls, I think, for four sure. I've only seen this again once from high up in the stand. He's probably six yards out. Um, gets a decent enough connection. I think he's spinning Ian Rush style finish on this one. Oh, Ian Rush would have scored, wouldn't he? Um, he hits it pretty well, but Dylan Phillips in goal throws himself out at it and makes a really good save there. And his teammates all crowd on him to slap him in the back there. Good moment. Really good save by Phillips in the goal. That is it. Yellow card for Solly. And Charlton get the win. And let's deal with Charlton first before we deal with Leeds. First time I've seen them, I would watch week after week as they would win games without creating too many chances. Now I can see why. Because Charlton... Um, as you really need to be as a promoted team from League One. Charlton are comfortable without the ball. They have a very solid four. They have Prattley, who's very experienced, if not mobile, calling the shots from the deep midfield position. And he's flanked by two younger, higher calibre players on loan from West Ham. And Gallagher's from Chelsea, isn't he? I think, have I got that right? Um, they're much fitter um, and much more willing to chase out and out towards the fullbacks. Then you have the creative player, um, in Williams with normally two guys up front, but Leco did do his shift file into the other side where the ball is. This system works. You've kind of got a 4-3-3 when you're attacking. You've got a 4-5-1 when you're defending, and you can sit back with a very well-organized low block and at one point, Lee Bowyer comes out and he has a massive yell at one of his centre-halves uh, for stepping out. You can see he doesn't want to leave it 1v1 at the back. He wants that solid row. And now I can see how the tactics are working. OK, you're in the lap of the gods when you only create two, three chances a game. Are you going to take them, yes or no? But you're promoted from League One. You've lost Bauer. You've lost Rebo, etc. Be solid. And that's what Charlton are doing. And if they take the chances, they're winning. That really speaks well of Lee Bowyer and of the game plan here. And really of the energy, particular of Gallagher and Cullen. So you would say um, good value for this today. And um, Charlton had that great start. And they dropped all the way down to eighth. I assume they're back up in the top six today after this win. So um, having not watched Charlton, now having seen them, I get it. They just need to take their chances when they do get them and they're going to have a good season and they're really flying the flag for the promoted three teams. Um, 
As for Leeds, I'm a huge fan of um, Leeds and Bielsa. I love the way they play. We have seen this before, though, haven't we? Lots of possession. Um, but a team that's well organised with energy in midfield to A, press, and B, get back into a low block. And Leeds could not get through today. Um, I think one of the talking points will be uh, Pablo Hernandez is their best and most creative player. He wasn't there and they didn't make the high percentage chance. Would they have done so if he'd been there? We don't know he wasn't there, but it's an easy correlation to make, isn't it? Um, I think people will talk about Bamford today. He got himself a yellow card, missed that header. Did he do... Um, enough or did his teammates create enough chances for him I don't know Leeds fans in the comments if you watch every week do let me know about that but this is rearing its head now we've had drop points for Leeds at home against Forest when they dominated against Derby last week they lost at home to Swansea so the points are slowing down um, I don't know what the total is but it's got to be now around the two points per game mark so it's still an excellent start from Leeds but remember, teams saw this last season and said, if we're well organised, we play with energy and we get our block right at the back, we can compete with Leeds because there is a soft underbelly for us to exploit. How many chances did Charlton create today? Not very many. And they have come away with the three points. So let me know if you're a Leeds fan in the comments. Is this exactly the same problem we saw at the end of last season with not creating those high percentage chances against teams with an organised press, a low block and when you don't have Pablo Hernandez, is there too much pressure on that guy? Um, that is my reading of it today. Um, Leeds fans, don't kill me. I promise I'm not a curse, but I am going to be at your game against Millwall very soon. So we'll see if the curse continues um, there. I think that's next weekend, isn't it? So yeah, look out for me there. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Charlton fan, Leeds fan. Any fan, um, love to hear from you. Let's keep it civil and keep the discussion about the football and avoid the crap that gets thrown around in the YouTube comments. Try and be nice to each other. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Benjamin Bloom. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. Championship stuff galore this week. It's a three-game week, so I'll do a full review tomorrow. I'll be previewing the midweek. I'll be at two games, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. I'll review that, and then it's going to be something every day, so well worth subscribing. And will we get news from Stoke this week <laughs> as well to talk about? Um, so well worth subscribing. If you've watched me before, you enjoy my content. This will always be free on YouTube, but I travel up and down the country. Um, I pay my fuel up pay my ticket so i have started a patreon so if you feel like helping a brother out it's five us dollars a month so it's the equivalent of buying me a drink while i'm at the game just to um get me some sustenance if you want to help me i'd love to do this full time that's a dream of mine but until i have many many more youtube subscribers i'm not going to be able to do that so you can help me out on patreon um Really do want to know what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to shut up now because I've gone 22 minutes. Um, hope you've enjoyed the review. Give me a wave in the comments if you have stayed right until the end. It was Charlton 1, Leeds 0, and our last year's problems wearing their ugly head for Leeds today. Thanks for watching. Over and out.